How's it going faculty and staff? This is Mr. Jones. Today we're going to take a look at ClassLink Launchpad. What ClassLink Launchpad is, is it's a new program that's available to us here in the district. It's going to allow us to uh, access any files and folders or uh, any apps that are approved by the district all in one spot. Uh, it's got a lot of cool little features that I'm going to show you today. Uh, and if I put my name on it, you know it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, originally, uh, the district wanted us to get there by going through the district homepage and going through a bunch of links, but I made us a shortcut. So if you come to the Chapel Hill Middle School website and you go to Faculty and come down to Class Link Launchpad, that's going to be a direct link to our Launchpad. And we're going to log in with our normal uh, login that we would log in with a computer at school or our email, and it's going to throw that CHISD in there for us, and we're going to hit Sign In. It's going to pull up the main splash screen uh, for ClassLink Launchpad. Now, you might be missing a couple apps that I've already added here, like the Google Drive and OneDrive. But I'm going to show you how to add those here in a second. Now, I'm going to walk you through everything step by step, starting up here in the right hand corner. They've got a search option where we can search for anything within our ClassLink. There's an edit mode where we can edit our apps. We can delete apps, add apps from here. Uh, we can create folders to organize our apps, anything that we would like to do. Just like you would on your phone or on an iPad or something like that. Uh, there's also a help menu if you get stuck or you just want to look at uh, some of the different options for ClassLink. And there's a place for you to take notes. You can click here and click on test and you can uh, put in a note here and hit add note and it'll come up right here for you if you're the top person who likes to take a lot of notes here on the right we've got our profile you can see I'm logged in as me obviously and that I have 10 gigs of storage space available which is quite a lot unless you're trying to do a ton of videos and things like that and this does not count uh, storage within my OneDrive, Google Drive or any other cloud based storage this is simply storage within ClassLink itself I'm going to click on profile settings and show you around this a little bit. Here we can change from the general tab, we can change our image. There's some default avatars here we can pick from or we can upload our own. We can also change our information. We can go to themes and colors tab. We can change the theme or the color of our class link. I can make it bright purple if I want to. Uh, I'm not going to go into password locker. Uh, that's where it's going to you know, essentially is store our passwords. If you wanted to delete one of these or you wanted to change a password manually for one of these, you could do it from here if you wanted to. As you can see, I've already set up my Google Drive uh, and my OneDrive. And I'm not going to go into sign in with or approved apps. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually add apps to your class link. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it uh, through the edit menu or the edit mode from earlier or you can right click directly on uh, the page and you can sort your apps, you can enter edit mode, you can add apps, add folders, change your background uh, or to add an app you can actually click on the plus sign up here in the top left. That's going to open up our app library. Now if you have an iPad or something like that at work, this is going to look uh, kind of familiar. You'll notice all the apps that you usually see. Uh, we've got our Google Earth, we've got Gmail, Evernote, as well as Dropbox and any other cloud storage to, uh, app that we could possibly want. Now, I'm not going to add Dropbox from here. I know you saw it on my, on my splash screen, but I'm going to tell you why. Uh, you could add it from here, but what these apps do is they're actually going to just be a link from your class link to the Dropbox website. I'm going to show you a better way to use the cloud-based storage apps from ClassLink, so I'm not going to add this. Uh, but if you know if you want to add CNN, uh, like I said, Google Earth, if you use that in your classroom a lot, Google Maps, uh, Google Mars, I've never even used that. And you can search through any of these categories and find any of the apps that are available to us. Uh, here in the district that have been approved. Uh, I don't know why I went to automotive, <laughs> education, mathematics, and we see a lot of math apps. And remember you can go to different pages here and find more and more apps. And to add those to the splash screen we're just going to click on add. So I'll add NASA Kids. 
and I'll hit the X here and now we'll see NASA Kids is now available on my splash screen. I can click on it and it's going to just be a link to the website for this one. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to show you, uh, well, just to clean up on that topic, you can fill this entire page up with apps, uh, any apps that you could possibly want uh, that are available within our app library. Uh, there's also a calendar up in the top left. Now, this calendar, I do not believe, is able to be synced with our email or anything like that. So it is an independent calendar. But if you need a calendar or need to add something to it, it is here. And besides apps, and what I think is one of the coolest features of ClassLink is this. We're going to come down here to My Files, or we could click on My Files up here in the top left. and give it a second to load and what this is going to bring up this is going to bring up our actually our H drive from work so which I think is really neat if you've got some files at work that you forgot to bring home or you forgot your laptop or you just remembered something or you got you know whatever you can click on your H drive here and it's going to load up your your direct H drive from work right here so I can access anything that I want to I can come into my doc TV folder I can open up any of my documents that I have created for my doc TV class edit them and whatever I want to do uh, I'll show you some of the options you have available from here I can click on one of these or I can click on click on multiples over here on the left I can download copy move delete and from up here in the top right I have other options. I can download from here. I can refresh the page. Here's some actions here on the right side. I can click on this and do all these things to this file that I could possibly want to do. Now, uh, to come back, we're going to go back and hit uh, H drive here at the top. Now I'm going to go through these options you have on the right side here. Uh, I'm going to go through this one later. We can refresh the page. We can cr uh, create new things. So if I click on this new button, we can make a new folder here. And give it a, just say test. And it'll make us a folder right there in our H drive and sync with our H drive at work. There it goes. There's my test folder. Let's open that up. Go back to the new button. We can actually create new documents, spreadsheets, presentations right here within ClassLink. I click on new document, give the name test. We can save it and just leave it. We can save it and open it up, uh, whatever we want to do. I'm just going to save it for the sake of time and just show you what it does. Now I've made a new document, a new Word document, right here within ClassLink. And I can open that up and edit it all I want to do. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to my home page real quick. Click on the little home button at the top. And you'll see that I've already linked my Google Drive and my SkyDrive to my ClassLink, or my OneDrive that is. Okay. Now here's how I do that. We're going to go up here to the Settings button. And then we're going to come over to the Manage Services tab. And you'll see Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive are right here. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my SkyDrive just so I can walk you through connecting it. So if you have multiple cloud storage apps that you use, this is perfect for you. You're going to click on Connect. And all it's going to do is prompt you to log into your OneDrive account. And that's literally it. I'm going to go back out, hit this little X right here in the top right, and we'll see it's there again. And I'm going to click on my SkyDrive or my OneDrive. And we can see everything that's available within my OneDrive. This is really cool because I'm not having to go directly to the OneDrive site. I don't have to open the OneDrive desktop app. It's all available right here 
and I have every option available to me that I had on my H drive. I can create new documents, new folders, delete things, move things, whatever I want to do. Now, if I go back home, I'm going to show you one more option that you have available. In case you accidentally delete something from one of these folders, there is a trash can where you can rec recover anything you've accidentally gotten rid of. All in all, it's a really cool app, this Classlink Launchpad. What I feel like is uh, its crowning achievement is being able to link all these together. All your uh, online cloud-based storages as well as your H drive from work. If that's something that you think you might be able to take advantage of, please do. If you have any questions or any further concerns on using ClassLink, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. And I appreciate your time. Thank you.